Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm checking out this $15 smartwatch. It's just a random one I found online, but let's go ahead and see if it's uh, any good. First of all, I want to thank TomTop for sending this out. And uh, there's nothing around the box. It's just a very simple box. Opening it up, it seems like my box was damaged, but that's okay because they were sending a review unit in, so I'm just like, it's all right. Got a user manual in here and then a micro USB cable to recharge the watch. Nothing else inside. The smartwatch phone guide has something like a QR code here for the application. So you're introduced with the home screen here. There's a call button as well as a uh, message box. Take a look at this in just a moment. You unlock it, there's uh, two different clock analog clocks. There's this one and then there's this one. And you can tell that this is a TFT screen because if you go on top, you can see that it gets kind of like washed out. It's a little harder to tell because it's in black, this analog clock. It's nothing amazing, but I guess that's one reason why it's so cheap. The bands are uh, also made of cheap rubber. They're not that flexible. So we have a microphone or it's a reset button on there and then a uh, micro USB slot. And the nice thing about the slot is that it's pretty easy to open. It's not uh, anything difficult or cumbersome. There's a camera on top. And then we've got two buttons here. This is a power button, and this is, I believe, is a back button, a return button. On the back, we have the speaker, which is kind of loud, actually. And the back can be removed, too. You can just take it out from one side. And then you have the uh, battery here. It's a 380 milliamp hour battery. Again, kind of similar to the DZ09 watch. And then we've got a micro SD card slot, as well as a uh, single SIM slot. And the top and sides all around are pretty much made of plastic a hard and then kind of softer feel plastic around. There's nothing uh, premium on this. So first off, I just installed the BT notification app. You can uh, scan the QR code here and it'll take you to like the Fun Run app or something, but instead the BT notification app seems to be working just fine. So I installed that. I turned on Bluetooth on both devices. Make sure it's visible either or, and it should come up as FV8. And then you should be connected from there on. So now that you're connected, you can get notifications on here. You can, for certain notifications, you can block those apps uh, if you go into remote notifications. So so I have a thing called Lookout. If you know what that is, that's just for the uh, antivirus software or whatever. So you can click Options, Block, Block Lookout. So I block that. And then I got a text message from someone. So I can go ahead and click Option and Reply. And then I can uh, reply from there. Problem is, is that the keys are just way too small. It's probably better to just use this as a notification, uh, to have it on your wrist, and then just reply through your phone when you have the chance, because uh, there's no voice control or anything. But I guess that's what you can expect for uh, $15, to use this mainly as like a notification uh, watch. From a distance, it's not too bad, but it certainly has that cheap feel as you come closer to it. And then there's only two analog clocks, so you gotta stick with either or. There's quite a few apps here. The simple ones are the alarm, sound recorder, calculator, and calendar. Then we've got a stopwatch, sedentary, sleep monitor, and then the pedometer. Now at first the pedometer didn't seem like it was working, but there's a quite a bit of delay, uh, just for about a minute. So there shows up uh, 10 steps. I just uh, shook it around a bit, I didn't really walk around. But that's to show you that it's working. Then we've also got anti-lost here, so if you're looking for your phone, you can just press this. and. There you go. And your phone should ring, assuming you have it on ringer. If it's on vibrate, it's not going to work. And yeah, it's not going to work, but it will light up if that helps at all. But yeah, keep it on ringer and that will help you with the anti-lost. Then there's a power saver that's off right now. And by the way, this gets pretty bright, I'd say. I don't know how good it is outside in sunlight because uh, there hasn't been sunlight in like for a while now here. That's beside the point. And it gets fairly dim too. But it lasted me the whole day before, so just want to clarify on that. And then it shows you the world timing, I guess. I think it's just too small. It shows you Bogota, Montreal, and New York. I just think it's too small to even use. And there's a file manager. You need a micro SD card. It only supports up to 16 gigs, so that's a downside. I don't have a 16 gig card with me. And then what's weird is that when you try to use Facebook, WhatsApp, or Twitter, or even the browser, it says insert memory card, but you actually need a uh, SIM. Only a certain type of nano SIM will work on this. We've got four more apps here, the dialer, messaging, phone book, and call log, so you can go into dialer. And the dialer is a little small. If you have small hands, it's probably gonna be good, but I'm still able to, able to hold it up a little well. 
You can go into your phone book too, because uh, when you're connected with your phone with the BT notifier, you can check your uh, your contacts. You can if you're local. If you the local is if you have your SIM, and then BT means Bluetooth. So I don't want to show any of my uh, contacts, but we can go ahead and place a call here. So I just finished the call with someone, and by the way, for this analog clock, it shows how many steps that were taken. So the guy told me that he, there was some static, he couldn't hear me well in certain uh, areas, and it was sounding a bit weird, so I guess the mic quality isn't the best on here, it's not that great, but it was certainly usable from uh, based on what he said, because he could hear me. We were able to talk for like at least 20 minutes. Now the other apps here are Bluetooth, Settings, Remote, Notification, so it shows you all the notifications that were there. Then there's settings, and then for settings, there's uh, different things you can do here. Now you can have uh, different profiles set, so you can have one on silent to keep your phone on silent and everything. You, for phone settings, you can change the time and date, language. I wonder how many languages you can change to. It seems like there's uh, quite a few to pick from here. Actually, there's only, it seems like there's only about 10. The display, so you can choose a wallpaper, but the only wallpaper that's in the system is uh, the black wallpaper here. I think if you uh, install a micro SD card, you, you might be able to put different wallpapers on here, I'm not sure. Now then there's motion here. Sadly, there's no motion to unlock, so it's like flick to unlock on your phone. That's not there, so that's kind of a big one for me. That, that can be a deal breaker for some, and I can understand that. Then there's uh, normal mode and flight mode. Miscellaneous settings, which just takes you to the LCD backlight. It can go all the way up to five, so it gets relatively bright. It can get kind of dim too. And it can, it can stay on for up to 60 seconds. Then there's security settings. So if you want a phone lock, I guess, you can put something. But again, the keys are so small, we're not going to change that. There's notification settings. So for messaging, you can have a notification style and everything like that. And then for call logs. And then call settings, answer mode, answer when headset mode. And then you can also restore settings. Fine. Then there's the camera, image viewer, audio player, and remote capture. So remote capture is basically, you can just press this and you can have, it'll take your phone camera. And now we can go ahead and see from here what's on my uh, phone, what's showing up. And it's not smooth, that's the expected, but I'm kind of surprised this even uh, is working, or this is even working. I can go ahead and capture something. And it's gonna save on my phone, not on this. And then the, this also has a camera, it's on the top here. So you can click camera. And it's actually a really bad one, to be honest. And surprisingly with the lighting, I mean, it's a 0.3 megapixel camera, but if I were to put the lighting on me for a moment, and then you can see that, you can see my hat. I'm wearing Cubs hat. I don't think you can see me. It's a 0.3 megapixel camera, so there's nothing uh, special about it. I guess there is one for someone that would use it. I can read Canon. I can't read anything else. And unfortunately, I can't take a picture because you need a memory card. So there's about no storage inside this uh, watch. Then I guess there's effects too. You can have normal grayscale. Surprisingly, I I'm, I'm surprised that's even there. But yeah, this kind of just feels like Nucleus OS. I think it might be. Then with Image Viewer, you need the micro SD card. Then finally, there's an audio player. Then you can connect it, and then you, whatever was playing before, you can just play it now on here. And yeah, the speaker is pretty loud. I don't, I don't want to get copyright, so I'm not going to play it. But yeah, basically you can play your music from here and it'll play it through the speaker here. You can adjust it from here, lower the, the volume. You can also change the song to something else. That's pretty much it for this watch. Overall, nothing special, nothing crazy, but for $15, it's not bad. The one big deal breaker for me is you, you don't have the motion to unlock. But I do how, like how it looks on my wrist. And yeah, even though like as, as you come closer, it does look cheap, like it's just made of plastic. But nonetheless, would I recommend this? Yeah, as a first watch, it's pretty good, I'd say. I'd also recommend checking out the DZ09 watch. Now, again, I, I don't want to have get your hopes up too high, because with these, WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, and the browser, even if you have a SIM, it might not work, because the same problem happened with the DZ09 watch. A lot of people didn't have, like their SIMs weren't supported to use the net or use any of these apps. So yeah, just take that with a grain of salt. But yeah, for everything else, you know, for basic tasks or something for notifications, this seems like a good choice. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.